All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants through another free agent film breakdown, this time on Jermaine Elamonor, the tackle from the Raiders. This guy's solid, right? As a pass protector, you know, he understands it. He gets to his landmarks. He's got good upper body strength. I think the lower body strength is lacking a little bit, and you see him give up push, but he has really good balance that he's always able to recover for the most part. You know, his lateral speed isn't so good. And in the run game, I think he's an ass kicker, right? He's just got that strong upper body. He can really torque guys. And then when he's working double teams on the interior, they really move some guys. Like, I, I, we do the double teams at the end of the video. I'm excited to get to that to show you guys that. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other uh, free agent film breakdowns that we have out there. Not doing as well as, as past years. I think that's because the Giants stink or I stink. Let's go. Let's break it down. All right, first play. First, the New York Giants. We're going to go through pass protection. Here versus Kayvon Thibodeau. Just a dominant rep. Let's watch the feet. One, two, three. So, it's not the perfect, like, you know, one, two, three. His right foot does drop back on his third step a lot of the times. But once he's got hands on a guy and has stopped, like, momentum from the rusher, he controls the blocks really well. He's got good balance. Right? He's like, so you can get those hands in there. Good placement. I mean, he's controlling this block. Next play versus the Vikings. Our feet. One, two. Again, see the, the third step does drop back right that's not perfect but he de but he gets to his landmarks so he's able to live with it right like this is where he wants to be so he's not like when you watch Evan Neal sometimes he'll do that and with Neal uh the rusher will be like here when he drops that foot back and then ends up screwing him with Elamunor he's he's in the right spot right gets that hand to stop momentum Good play. Next play versus uh, Danell Hunter. Good stuff. Feet are good. One, two, three. We're staying square with the line of scrimmage. We throw out that right hand. Now, I'm surprised more guys don't try and cross chop when he puts that right hand out there. Place his hands. Good stuff. Next play. Just kill the will of this rusher. Just make him want to quit playing football. Like That's the way to dominate a block to where he just gives up. He's got, got good upper body strength. And he's, he literally... This guy doesn't want to play anymore. Next play versus Denver. Sorry. One, two, that second step. Now we're reading, right? For that third step, we're reading. Where is he going? All right, he shows a little inside stutter, so we don't we don't overset. All right, because on the other ones you saw, he'd, he would go one, two, three, right? Just simple. On this one, we're reading, right? Because he can work inside. He doesn't. Okay, we take our third step to the outside. We throw our punch. We keep our feet moving around the corner. Awesome rep. Here versus spin move. One, two. Now we're on our reach step. Is it going to work inside? Now... We'll, we'll go through it. There's a couple times where he gets beat inside. I worry about his lateral quickness. And also, with his punch, it can be a little early sometimes, right? Or if he's just timing it up perfectly, but it can set him up to not be able to move very well. See how like this is a little bit early? But hey, this guy's working the, uh, the spin. I call it playing the piano on his back. Just keep patting your hands on his back. Feel, feel, feel. And then when he turns around, like I love when guys spin. Like, okay, you just make it easy. I know I know when the target's coming. 
uh, you know, when I'm going to, I'm going to be able to control this block. Got his hands inside, controlling the block. Now, these uh, next four plays of pass protection show up uh, fairly consistent, right? Not bad reps at the end of the day, but he gives up push, right? When guys are working speed the power. Right, so is this the worst rep ever? No. But you are getting in your quarterback's lap. And see how we're we're lunge our shoulders are over our knees a little bit. Right, work to stop that. Just gives up push. He's able to recover pretty well. Right? Let's watch the next play. Like he recovers fairly decently. Right, the quarterback's able to move it, you know, move his platform. But he, but that does happen fairly consistently in the games that I watch here again. Right, just giving giving up some ground. But after that, I was able to finish. And, and the my Raiders friend Sanji, who does film for them, basically told me to look out for this, and he's like, "But I, but I think he's a good player. He's just." He gives up that initial push. And then a couple times where he got beat inside. We, we talked about that punch having your shoulder over your knees, over your toes. Right? So when you do that, they time it up. But now you're not in a position to move laterally. And he beats you inside. This isn't like a true outside end move. The more redirection. But not not horrible. Um, and this is a sack he gave up. I almost thought about not putting this in the video because something clearly goes wrong here. This isn't like, oh, his footwork, his strength. There's just some type of issue because we have this wide, wide nine. And we're checking the inside presence. On Zach Allen with our guard, right? I'm a. I, I would assume that he thought he was getting some type of chip from his tight end to 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 play with your right guard versus this. To me, there, I I feel like there's some type of miscommunication on this. I think Hooper, Austin Hooper, probably was supposed to ha help chip with that and slow him down. And now we're just we're just we're, now we're just running. You know, trying trying to get back there and save this play. And Adrian O'Connell gets his neck ripped off. All right, in the run game, this is some fun stuff. He's got that upper body strength, man. He can torque cats. All right? We're closing the space. And then watch the power drive through that left hand. <clears throat> Torquing cats. Here versus Kayvon, he does like the the slap on it, right? That's embarrassing. Now, I think you got to kind of work your regular block and get keep your feet moving. But just the strength from the upper, from his upper body. Bam! And now you got a nice long run for Josh Jacobs. He's going to do it like two plays later versus Kayvon. Here again. Feet are good, right? Now, my thing with him is, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate it in a different block, though, is I think his feet stop uh, on contact. This next play versus Isaiah Simmons, right? You just see the strength in that punch, right? We're not, we're not out of control. We've got good balance. Throw that punch, and Josh Jacobs is able to run off of you. Versus the Vikings. And you see him get that moving. That's off of a defensive tackle too. Good feet. And then you're going to see torque. Torque. Good stuff. Let's watch it live. Not previously recorded. But on this one. This next play. And this isn't like some bad rep. 
But this is where he can get better still. See, watch the feet. Like, that's good. Those th first three steps. They're short, pitter-patter, bat, bat, bat. The feet stop, right? His feet stop on contact, where he's trying to do too much with his upper body. So, you know, if he can get his feet and his upper body connected, well, he can become a better run blocker, and he's already a pretty damn good run blocker. In double teams, these are fun. To well, actually, this isn't a double team. Here versus Dex on his down block. I mean... I know Dex gets a little bit tripped up, but he gets tripped up because Jermaine gives him a nice first pop. Bah! See that strength? Bah! Get him caught up. Roll over him. And then on these double teams, he's a machine. Here versus Dexter Lawrence with Greg Van Roten. This is, this is him doing this. We get in quick. Bam, get in his hip. And let's move Dexter Lawrence down the field. That doesn't happen to Dex on double teams. I mean, we watch him. We watch him every week. That doesn't happen to Dexter Lawrence on double teams. Here versus uh, Rakeem Nunez Roches on a double team. Wash him down. Keep your feet moving. Wash him down. So when it gets set up with him, when you know the, the double team gets set up for him, he does keep his feet moving. And you see that strength and... and you see the strength, and then with his feet continuing to move on contact, what he can do. Here versus Ashawn, you know, number one in the NFL in run stop win rate, third in total run stops. Panthers just signed him for over seven mil per year. Get under his pads and move his ass. And that is Jermaine Elamunor. Greg Van Roten's helping. He's getting it started. But that's Jermaine doing that. So, uh, I'm surprised the Giants were able to get this guy for 7 mil per year. I, I really am. And I think he's going to come in and compete for the right tackle job with Evan Neal. And it's going to be up to Evan Neal to improve, to stop him from doing that. But if not, he's a swing tackle. He played, you know, uh, both left and right. So, you know, if Andrew Thomas gets injured, we don't, we don't have to put Josh, we don't have to put a guard out at left tackle. We can at least try and survive, which the Giants haven't been able to do for a few years if Andrew Thomas has went down. It's been been total disaster for the Giants so appreciate you guys check out the other videos should have uh, more coming soon uh, check out the playlist like and subscribe and let's go big blue